My name is Avina Disro. A lot of the community know me as the High Priestess of Poetry because I believe in opening up platforms to give other people opportunities to shine. I myself, I'm not intimidated by anyone. I have no envy, I have no jealousy. There's no room for that in this life. And I really live like that and I believe that. And I, I know sometimes it's a hard thing to overcome for a lot of people, but it's, it's so much freedom when there's no envy, there's no jealousy, there's no hatred toward anyone. I've been doing poetry for uh, quite a number of years. I started something called the Poets Den. And uh, wherever I go is the Poets Den where I bring poets to shine and, and to recite their words. I was Deaf Poetry Jam's feature poet for two months before. Uh, I've been out of the country to do poetry. I've done it in Haiti. I've been to Haiti four times. I went to Haiti to, to uh, study traditional herbs and medicine because I believe that every dis-ease that's going on in the body, and I don't call it a disease, I call it a dis-ease and imbalance, that some type of herb that can heal you, that can make you stronger, because I believe all these drugs that the doctors pump into our bodies, they suppress what's really going on, and as you're taking them, you may, may feel yourself getting better, but it's weakening your body, so what can you do to strengthen it? I believe in people being balanced and whole mentally, spiritually, physically, and emotionally. To try to find that balance in your life, because Thank you. I believe that's where real freedom comes from. Your health is your wealth. At Hopkins, I've been at Hopkins for one year. The one year that I've been there, I started something with the young people. So when I see people throwing trash and things, they used to clean up. So a lot of the young people would start coming to help me because empowerment uh, of others, believe it or not, when you empower others, you're empowering yourself too. Okay? Because that's a seed that you're planting. I have two degrees. I have one in radio and television broadcasting. I have one in event management planning. And uh, I just finished a nine month computer school. I believe that no matter how old you are, or how young you are, you must keep moving forward to empower yourself. Keep learning, just keep learning, keep learning, keep learning. If I live to be 90 years old, I'm gonna be trying to learn something. Education is key. You're never too old to learn. So uh, that's self-determination because sometimes as you get older, you get a little bit slower. But self-determination and keeping yourself balanced, health-wise, mentally, spiritually, and all of that, take care of yourself. Take care of yourself and take your own health into your own hands. I cannot stress that enough. If you go to one doctor, they say this, go to another. Get three opinions. And when they give you all these different drugs, research and find out before uh, we had all these doctors and the surgery and all these medications and all this long, 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 long time ago, they used to take bark from trees and go out and pick up things from the ground and boil them and, and do this. And the next thing you know, you'll be cured. There's something out there for everything that's wrong with you. Even if it's a drug abuse problem, if it's alcoholism, if it's kidney, whatever. Do your research. There's something that can to take away the craving, there's something that can cleanse your body to make you whole, to make you strong. Eat right, live right, think right, empower. Don't have envy, don't have jealousy, don't have hatred for anyone. You'll be free, you'll be strong, and you'll live long. Thank you.